Hi guys, welcome to episode 18. Even if you, if you are new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. I do train forex. I do help beginners, advanced, anyone who is interested to learn new method. So this video is very interesting because it's, even if it's in episode 18, you can make your first profit with it because it's a free signal. So watch until the end. I'll be discussing USDJPY on this episode and I'll be like, I want to share with everyone how you spot long-term trades. How do you call yourself swing trade? How do you spot these long-term trades? And how are you always, even if you're not a swing trade, how would you sniper when uh, you do scalping when you know you are in the right side? So I was looking at USDJPY and I said, it's the best time to give this uh, signal. But again, I want to show you things that people don't talk about. Even if you know the market will buy or sell, there are so many things that come in between. And you see, that's the reason why people don't really understand you don't need to trade every day. Even if you're looking at the market, you know the market will buy or sell. There are some things that prevent you from buying or selling and you'll know from this video. So be ready to learn. I don't know how long it will take, but my motive, my, mo my motive and my my uh the reason of even creating this video is to help someone who wants to always be on the right side of the market someone who wants to know then the long term the long term direction the long uh term direction of the market so this is usdjpy something that you need to realize that you cannot know long term direction using four hour time frame daily time frame weekly you can only know long time frame or long a long term a long term direction using monthly so i will flip because you can see this market is on a ranging if we start now analyzing on four hour we have this ranging even if this market breaks this ranging let me show you the only distance that we want this market maybe if it breaks out that ranging it will go both sides so that's how those people who do a uh, lower time frame that's the the area they can they can trade when the market hits those zones, they cannot trade anymore because, again, they don't know what the markets want to do. So why don't you get a bigger picture, go on a higher time frame, and then once you understand that the higher time frame, you can see. So this is mostly what people do. And it works, but you can be trading a retracement without even knowing. So instead of trading a retracement that you don't know, why can't you just zoom out and go to a uh, monthly time frame? Because this is how many people trade. Why can't you just start trading monthly time frame? So if you're watching me, uh, it is your first time, or if you've been watching me, just comment down below. Open my eyes because that's what I am doing right now. Open my eyes more free. I want to learn more. Once I get those kind of comments, I know people are connecting with my with my videos and as i promised we reach up to episode 60 and then we can start doing something else once i now teach you up to episode 60 i can start another segment the segment that i'm doing now is to educate people from the videos from episode one to now episode 18 if you can do those videos if you can watch them if you can be able to do exactly as i'm saying Trust me, you'll become profitable. So this is what people on four hour do. But let me delete. Let's now go to monthly. Continue typing down. Open my eyes more free because again, that's what I'm doing. So on monthly time, it was a very important one because you can see that this market has been an uptrend market. This market is clearly it has been an uptrend. Can you see our lowest point? of this market is this zoom. So basically USDJPY is very, very strong on an upward side. So the market is a very strong upward movement. So when it comes to market structure, the market is on an uptrend. The market is on a clear uptrend. There's no doubt on it. This market is not consolidating. This market is on an upward movement. So it is giving us more confidence to know buyers are more stronger. If we even zoom in close to see the price action, because remember, we have three things in the market that you need to understand. You need to understand the market structure. 
market structure is what the market has been doing. And then you need to know the price action. And you see, I am willing to teach this for free, something that I teach and I charge in my mentorship program. Price action, and then there's the forex pattern. So we have the uh, we have the these uh, three trading pillars. So these are the forex pillars that I have come to uh, love and understand and be able to apply. So when you talk of the market structure, the market is a clear, it's an uptrend. So that's how you start analyzing your chart. It's an uptrend, meaning the market will buy. So when you come to price action, price action meaning the candle, the previous candle. So if we can zoom in and try to think, what is this candle? The May candle, what is it about? So this is the candle that you want. What is this candle about? Is it a, a green candle or a red candle? And what characteristics does it carry? Because I already taught on the characteristics of the candle. Looking at it, first of all, it is a spinning top. This candle is a spinning top. And you already know a spinning top is in the characteristic of rejection candle. So when you get spinning top, there's something that is getting rejected. So even if buyers, uh, are coming in, there's some kind of rejection. And you see, rejection is coming both ways. Both buyers are being rejected and both sellers are rejected because you can see clearly we have both weak, like there's weak on the downside and there's the weak on the upper side. So rejection is very, very clear that this market is getting rejected. So in, when it comes to price action, the first thing that we can see is that we have that rejection. So the candle itself is a spinning top. Where we categorize spinning top is on the rejection side. Not alone. Uh, if at all we, we, we leave it there, we will not have really exhausted on the candle and the price action. We can see something else has happened the market has broken structure. We have BOS. And this is a market that has stayed for how many months? One, two, three, four. And the fifth month, the market broke out. So we can see there's a very huge breaking. Even if it's a spinning top, it has managed to break. That is giving our, our market structure, our market structure is a buy price action. It's still talking volume. There is a buy opportunity on the USD JPY. So market structure is speaking the same language. Price actually is saying a buy. Now let's go to Forex pattern. Forex pattern, the patterns that I use, I teach six patterns in my mentorship program, but in, on my YouTube channel, I only teach, I emphasize two, because the rest four, they have BW strategy, and BW strategy is only for students. So I only talk of two, and I'm willing to continue uh, teaching people. But I, again, I say, if we ever hit 100,000 on this channel, I will teach people on the BWA. So it's not like it's not like a, it's a goal or uh, something that I cannot share. I can share if only we can reach 100,000 subscribers. So if we hit 100K subscribers, what I'll do, I'll teach on BWA. So now you can see that Forex pattern, yes, I have six patterns and you there are so many patterns, but the ones I teach is six but here on the YouTube channel, I teach two patterns. I'll teach people on the, on the double top and I teach people on the double bottom. So we have to pay attention. What is the market uh, having? Does it have a double top? Remember, if this market has a double top, it will tell us to sell. That's something that you need to put in mind. If it has a double bottom, it will sell us to do what? To buy. So if it has a double top telling us to sell, double bottom, buy. So pay attention. Which pattern do you think we have here? Which pattern do you think we have? Pay attention and tell me. This is monthly time frame on USDJPY, and you can see that we have a double bottom. Guys, having a double bottom on monthly time frame is the best news that you will ever hear. Why? Because once this double bottom is confirmed, there's nothing, like there's no going back. So we have a double bottom and people may ask, why is this not a possible double bottom? I'll tell you in a few. So we have a double bottom. So we need to first um, point out the areas that we 
have to highlight first. So once we highlight the double bottom, the next thing that we'll hi highlight is the neckline. You can see that that is our neckline zone. This is our neckline zone. So being having a neckline is very, very important. And then the last but not least, we want to measure our half. Guys, this half is what is doing magic. So let's measure our half and see what we have. So half, you will always start with the first bottom and then you come all the way to the neckline. Guys, can you see what I'm seeing? The half has been broken. The half has been broken. Let's make it clean. You know, this is the best news I have had since I started looking at GBP, uh, USDJPY and have been waiting for a whole month. I was waiting for that half to be broken. That's why I tell people, oh, don't trade this pair this month. Wait for it to do this and this. Now, USDJPY, it is a long term buy. Right somewhere, screenshot this video. Never forget, USDJPY is a long term buy, guys. Long term, and I mean long term. So this is a long term buy. Why? Because that half has been broken. Again, they broke our resistance area that has been tested for five months. Half has been broken. The structure is on an, an uptrend. The the price action is a candle that is a momentum. It's a is a green candle showing momentum. Even if it's a spinning top, it's still showing momentum. It has broken resistance, broken half. Everything is pointing out buy, buy. So what do you think? Comment down below. Do you think USDJPY will buy? Or have you been trading USDJPY? And what have you been trading? Have you been trading a buy or a sell? Now I'm telling you clearly that USDJPY is a long-term buy. But you see, when now we know that this market is a long-term buy, it will be not great to come and just do a blindly buy and say, oh, I'm about to make 1,194 pips. It doesn't happen like that. It is not as easy as people think. Yes, what now the market has done is to make you not think of selling your DJPY. It's to make you to get in on a buy when other time frame has given you entry. So already we know that this market will go on a thousand pips. Um, the market will go up on a thousand pips. If at all you didn't know what to trade, good news, you'll be trading a ZJP. That's what I'm telling you, you have to make this channel go and hit a hundred K because I'm here training you and allowing you to learn. So USDJ4 is hitting a thousand pips plus. But now, everything does not end when it is said and that. No, everything starts after confirmation is given. Because now we already know that the market is on a strong buy and I will even lock that zone. The zone where that market broke, I will lock that zone. You can see clearly, there's nothing we have here. There's no obstacle on the monthly. So let me tell you, if this market decides to shoot, it can shoot even 800 pips this month. It can. There's nothing that is obstructing that market. So the same way that you can see this red candle, how many pips was this red candle? 1,128. So in a month, the market can still move those many pips. It's not a wonder. So don't even try to say, oh, the market will take. No, it it might not take as much time as you think. The market might not take as much time as you think. So at the end of the day, what you need to understand is that pay attention, your DJ Pua is a strong buy. Now what you need to understand is that at the time frame, as other time frames speaking of a buy, because yes, monthly can tell you to buy, but is weekly time frame agreeing with you? Is daily time frame agreeing with you? Is four hour time frame agreeing with you? Because what now happens is that if you don't have a big account, if you have maybe like $10,000 account, you can start building positions because you're not worried on the retracement. But imagine you do not have that big account. You have a $100 account. Do you know retracement of 100 pips can blow your account? That is the, now the reason why I don't advise people to just do blindly because it's on a monthly. If not the monthly time frame has given out, what now you need to understand is that between weekly, daily, and four hour, 
have I been given a go ahead? So let's start with the weekly time frame. Let's start with weekly time frame. First, we'll try to understand was there, was there a double bottom? The double bottom that we are seeing on the monthly, is it there on the weekly? So we'll start like that. So if we check very clearly, even you can notice, do you think we have double bottom on the monthly, uh, on the weekly as on the monthly? You can see clearly it was never attended. So there was never, there was no touch on the weekly time frame, And that's the reason why, even for me, I remember this trade, I was not getting involved. Why? Because I could not see uh, the touch. But you see, on the monthly, the market had touched. You can see it has touched and it engulfed. So the whole of this month, uh, in the month of Feb, the market had given an entry. But you see, it stayed for two months without be before it reached her. So it means when monthly has confirmed something, it does not go directly. For some pairs, it will go directly, but it is not a must. You can see after we were given a bear, bullish end gap on Feb, on March and April, it was all the market going down. And these are many pips. Like imagine the market giving you an entry, then it goes 170, but it goes down 644. That's what I'm saying. Even if a market has given you an entry, don't be so quick because everyone who took this market to the below here. If everyone now says this market, I will take it below here and take my profit as a half, they made so much money. Why? Because they knew the entry secret. Entering is what now determines if you are making money or not. Because yes, knowing the direction of the market may not help you as your entry. So weekly, it is clear there's no double bottom. So where the market is, the monthly time frame is telling us to buy. But let's now observe the market structure. The market structure on the weekly time frame, that is what the market is. So the market had gone down. It's still an uptrend. It's like a rejection. But can we go to the Forex pattern? Guys, can you spot on the weekly time frame we have a double top, a possible double top? Who can spot that? we have a clear possible double top. And you see now, I have told you, any double top suggests the market to sell. Double bottom suggests the market to buy. Now, we have a possible double top. We have a possible double top. And it is suggesting we do what? We sell. Clear possible double top. Now, would you be ignorant, still buying because monthly has told you to buy? This is why now I tell people, yes, I know monthly it is a long-term buy, but are you trying to, to make sense on this other time frame? Because if that is our double top, this is the neckline. Can you see the neckline? So if that is our double top and that is the neckline, you can see our half. Where will be our half? Can you see where our half is? That is where exactly our half is. So what happens is that the half, and I let me make it a different color, maybe blue. You will know it's the half of the weekly. And then I love it. Maybe this market, even if they have said they will buy on the monthly, what if, and I'm saying what if, they decide to obey the possible double top and they come down. Do you know that is 500 pips? First, you have been taking a drawdown of 500 pips. Before the market goes a thousand, a thousand pips. That's what I'm saying. And you see, when it comes to here, they can create on the weekly a double, a possible double bottom. So there's so much possibility of this market to first come down, so that they have now a, a, a reason. They will create a reason why they will buy this market on the weekly time frame. So here we have a possible double bottom. Guys, now have you seen why, even if you are on the monthly time frame and you have been told to buy, when you go to weekly, something is, something is off. Something is just off because this market is the same market that is telling you to sell. And you see, if now here we use WBB strategy, because remember WBB strategy is for double tops and double bottoms. If we use WBB strategy, where I'll put a box, if I come here and I put a box like that, and I change this color, so I'm waiting for the market to break here. What if, 
what if you have entered by with daily or uh, with monthly and then after one week you find that red candle do you know what this means this means the market has to come to the half and you see on the monthly we don't have any double tops that is giving weekly more power because if at all we had a double top even on monthly weekly double top it has no power anytime you find that weekly has a double top and monthly has no double top weekly time frame has more power on that double top so any case of this the market will drop i don't know if you're getting if you're not getting you have to rewind the video and watch multiple times but those who are getting let's continue it is dangerous to buy because it's a long-term buy without or ignoring weekly time frame. So for me, I was like, what? what? What's happening? You mean I have a double top and that double top has a fast red candle. So the price action of last week was sellers were in control. So even I was, I didn't even have effort or the, the strength to go to daily. Why? Because when I went to daily, I was trying to see is the daily time frame having the same double top? So this is what I found out. On the daily time frame, we do not have the double top. Can you see where the double top is? We do not have any double top. So the market is just, now when it comes to daily, there's no double top. What will you trade? What will you trade? And you see, now because on the monthly, there's no double top, I came to realize because there's no double top, there's a double bottom. And I was like, no, this is too much. Like, this is too much. I'm ready just waiting on weekly to either drop to 134. Actually, what I have done, I have put a buy order on 134. Putting a buy order is just saying that the market can drop up to 134. Like, I'm ready buying this market up to 134. So you can even say, I'll put this market at 134.80, meaning I am ready. If it drops to 134.80, I am ready to buy it. That now that one reduces every noise. Because you see, on the daily time frame, we do not have the same double top on the weekly, but we have the double bottom. And I was like, what? They want us to bust my like my brains. You see, there's too much to observe when you when time frames speak different language. So there's that double bottom. So I was going through a new, I will not even pay attention on this double bottom because unless weekly now tells me what it wants, this daily is not of question. So I have that double bottom. That's a possible double bottom. So if that's a possible double bottom, this is my neckline. I want to measure her. That's my neckline. I want to show you what happens when you are supposed to be waiting and having patience, but you refuse. We are only supposed to be waiting on the weekly because weekly holds more water and we refuse. So that double bottom, you can see clearly, the market has done what? It broke, the double bottom broke. So it can come here. It can tap back that zone. It can tap back that zone to create a what? A double top. So it's like, it's like just, they are just playing with your mind because they will give you what you want to see. So if they have a double top, they can make sure this double top, eventually it will come and they will break that neckline. So the market will eventually drop like that. It is nearing our area. And you see on this red candle, this is a, a block. We have a block here. And you see that block? That is a block, a main area we have. So how now do I trade this JPY? I forget about daily because now daily is confusing me more. I will only check after every week, I flip my USD JPY. And that's what you should do. After every week, flip USD JPY. After every week, flip it. So that if at all this candle gives way, if we have the breaking here, you will sell up to here and then buy. Because... When weekly has said you sell, you just sell. You cannot be obsessed by monthly. I have given you an example. Monthly time frame had this double bottom. And you can see after the bearish, the bullish angle, we stayed two months without the market going up. So the market can break half and the market can stay even two months without going up. And you see the pips that are in question is so much 
a thousand plus pips. So this weekly time frame can be used. This double top is so powerful when the, it break, it can be used. It can be used. So what I'm telling you is that do you know even it can drop to now to make this double bottom. So ne don't be in a rush. The market does not be in a rush because there's a, a much possibility that this market can even break half and now come and tap here. So when it taps there, it makes a double bottom on the weekly time frame. And then it will just need one candle to go back where it was. So what I can tell you on USDJPY, it is the trade that it is worth your attention. You can see in one month, the market can come down and then go up with how many pips? 756. So a month can even go 700, 800, even 1,000. So what we need to do is to observe. Weekly time frame USDJPY is our time frame because you can no longer uh, check monthly because now monthly has what? It has already given us a buy. So we need just to check uh, weekly. And now what weekly will tell us is what we do. If they break this box, we are going to sell. And what I've come to realize and what I've come to learn, I will never be biased. For me, I don't want to stick my mind. Oh, it is a buy, it is a buy. No. If weekly confirms as a sell opportunity because of this double top, we are going to sell. If they break through, we are buying. Why? Because now no longer, uh, it's no longer there. So avoid, always avoid buying at any zone. You cannot buy at this zone, but you can buy at this zone. So thank you so much for watching. I hope it has been a helpful video. I would feel now like, oh, I have not given my people a signal. I have given you a monthly signal. USDJPY is a monthly signal, is a signal that you can check for the whole of this month is a signal that you can be trading, watching, and even knowing why you're buying, why you're selling. So with that being said, make sure to like this video, comment down below, subscribe, you want to subscribe, share the video, and let's get us uh, ourselves to 100,000 subscribers. Bye-bye. Love you.